Welcome, one and all, to a very special edition of the Punk Wrestling Podcast. I am your host, RM Punk, and this is Punk's Weekly Awards, where I'm going to give out the awards for certain categories in wrestling this week. We will get straight to it, but first, like and subscribe the video and tell your friends thank you very much. As you can see, this is a prestigious event, so I am all dressed up for the evening. Uh, we will start off with this week's promo of the week. And the nominees are... Big E's Pandora's Box has been opened. Eddie Kingston and Moxley talk their way out of a botch. Peyton Royce wants to be let go on Raw Talk. So... Who will be the winner? Obviously, we'll talk a little bit about each one. So, Big E cut an impassioned promo on SmackDown that Polo has opened Pandora's box and hope he knows what is coming to him. Eddie Kingston and John Moxley managed to sell that this was all part of Omega's plan and the reason that Eddie Kingston passed out was for fear because he reminded him of his days in prison. Peyton Royce cut a very impassioned promo on Raw Talk, saying how, why is it always someone else? Why can't she go for Asuka? And it was a very good promo. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. And so, your winner, Eddie Kingston. That guy could literally sell me anything. Well done, Eddie. The next special, special award is the Surprise Motherfucker Award. And your nominees are Maki Ito on Revolution. New NXT Women's Championships announced. And Christian Cage is all elite. So, who do we think win this one? Let's have a look. And your winner is Christian Cage. Of course it is. He might not have been the surprise we was hoping for, but he is definitely a big surprise this week to be all elite. So, well done to Christian there. We will get on to a slightly more serious one. Match of the week. So, match of the week for me. Let's have a look at the nominees, shall we? We had the barbed wire death match between John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Yes, it ended on a bit of a sour note, but it was a great match. Uh, Sheamus and Drew tear it up on Raw to a no contest. And the Tag Team Casino Battle Royale. Because I liked it. Uh, and your winner is... It's the Casino Tag Team Battle Royale. I just had so much fun watching this. It couldn't not win the first Match of the Week award. Next up, WTF Moment of the Week. Now, this isn't necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. But it was what the fuck. So, what are our nominations? They are The Ring Doesn't Explode Revolution. Nia takes Reginald shopping. And new new NXT Women's Champions, Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon after an hour of their bean belts. And your winner is... The ring doesn't explode at Revolution. Of course it was. It was the what, to, what the fuck moment of the week. There cannot be any denying that. However much Eddie has talked to me around, it was still a big botch and a WTF moment. We get a nice one. Move of the week, ladies and gentlemen. The moves of the week for me was the paradigm shift off the apron onto barbed wire table, which was lovely. A 180 degrees frog splash from Montez Ford, the height on that. Two steps don't make a right. Drew and Sheamus hit each other with steel steps and knocking both out. And your winner, the paradigm shift onto the barbed wire. Despite the match ending badly, it was a great match, like I said, and that spot was nice. So we got some special awards here. I will not be listing all the nominees for this, and they will not be every week. But the wrestler of the week for me was Io Shirai. Congratulations. After defending her title once again on NXT, she's been doing great work throughout, and I cannot wait to see where she goes from here. Special award. Ring gear of the week, especially for this week. It's the new day in their Mortal Kombat gear. And finally, the special award. 
for Big Simping of the Week. The award that goes to someone who has captured our hearts and minds this week. And it could only be one person, and that is Maki Ito. With such great things as Surprise Motherfucker, The Headbutt, The Singing. Well, there's a beatdown going on in the ring. Just lovely stuff. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please give it a like, share and subscribe. This is a bit of fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. Have a good one. Good night.